morning, welcome to uh, Hot Whistle on a chilly morning. It's been as low as negative 0.5 Celsius on the way uh, up in the car. Uh, highest I saw was plus two. This walk, as you can see, starts from the railway station. Pretty funky. I've often uh, looked at this bridge from uh, the year 69, which runs from uh, Newcastle across to Carlisle and vice versa. Um, yeah, Hull, I guess Hollywood sold about halfway between the two. I'll give you a quick look at that, you can uh, pause and read that if you like. There you can see, it's the A69 down there. This is the River South Tain. Uh, bit higher than normal. Um, it's been wet recently. Not as wet here as in South Yorkshire. I believe we've had um, like a month rainfall in 24 hours, so we've not had anything as bad as that. But uh, it's wet. Autumnal colours. As you can see, cross the A69. And, uh, that's what we're heading for there, that little gate. This joins the uh, cycle route. Ah, oh, it's a bit brisk this morning. It's called South Tyne Trail, Lomley Viaduct, Alston, not going that far, and the source, presumably, of the Tyne, uh, not going that far either. But should be nine, nine miles or so by the time we get back. As you can see, the first part of this walk up until now is a little bit on the industrial side, but it is what it is. Um, these railway lines were here for a reason. Coal mining, lead mining, lime lime and i don't know escapes my mind what else um yeah so today um i'm trying out yet another set of gators these ones are trek mates gore-tex hopefully the breathability will stop the condensation and that doesn't look strictly necessary today for the terrain we're covering but we can see regarding the uh, breathability. Uh, I think the model is uh, the Rannick. Uh, I'll check when I got, get back and correct myself on, on screen. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I think it's mostly 
made paths, I mean it's been tarmac so far but uh, hopefully when we get down by the river on the uh, return leg it'll be a bit less uh, civilised I don't know, hope, hope you can see it. the frost still on the grass there and uh, yeah I think it's the first cold snap indicating the start of a uh, winter it's slightly warmer tomorrow but I thought I'd come out today might even get out tomorrow do a little one locally it's remembering Sunday tomorrow so might take a stroll down to the uh, to the senator in Seaton Sluice then again there's another bridge coming up in the very distance there there's that bridge that we're looking at in the distance You can still see the brackets that there. And just the remnants of the porcelain insulators on there. I guess I guess they would have been for uh, signalling purposes. Perhaps telephony, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. We should have brought some gloves. <laughs> this is quite a cool section here. Yeah? We'll start to like uh, excavate this cutting here to go for the railway line. Oops. And get another bridge. It's cool, every one of these walks is different. I don't know, I sound like a stuck record, but there you go. And on, while I think on, on a sadder note, the incident at the Tyne Bridge of, uh, that I spoke of in the last video, I don't think the outcome was uh, very good at all. Um, because there's a load of, uh, as I drove past yesterday, there's a load of fresh flowers fastened to the uh, to the railings at the at the point. So, yeah. I hope whoever it was has found peace now. Yeah. What's going on here? Some sort of uh, flood control measures. We're coming up on the uh, on a minor road here, which we we'll have to cross. Uh, yeah, so which way? I guess it's flowing down this way. So it's to stop the road flooding, perhaps. Could be. easy to get focused on the direction I go in but uh, I just look down to the side and uh, see a little stream down there but aside from the beauty of it 
they must have built this embankment up to cross this valley for the railway to run on and I bet a lot of it was done by hand without the use of machinery maybe some primitive steam powered stuff yeah look at the colours Bridges, bridges, bridges. That one looks like it had a wooden, a wooden deck, so that's a little have rotted away or been uh, recovered, I guess. done it again. I nearly walked right past this without without noticing. It's a it's obviously an old uh, railway station platform. Yeah. Beautiful. This would have been the uh, station house. It's a nice touch there. Uh, Left the signage up. Very cool, I like that. Crossing another road. There's a car park here, so you could, if you're not wanting to do the entire walk, you can uh, you could split it up. I'll tell you what it is. If you're a lover of uh, railway architecture, this is the <laughs> walk for you. There's not a huge amount of interest on this bit, but in its favour, with it being an old disused railway line, there's not much gradient and it's it's pretty level underfoot and easy going, so instead <laughs> of tripping up. What a nutcase. Oh dear me. I'll cut that bit out so I look cool. Sun's trying to break through anyway. We're just approaching Lamley Viaduct here. Uh, there's another impressive structure along there. And the world's most useless cattle grid. Um, yep, so straight across I believe. There's another railway platform. You could imagine if they kept these th these places going, and you know, because I mean, it's a lot more green than uh, travelling by your own private car, isn't it? And uh, they could, you know, move produce about and all the rest of it. And, I guess they were ahead of their times. Stirrup pump there. Nowadays, 
where I live, a village called Seaton Delaval, they're talking about uh, extending the metro system, which is like Newcastle, Newcastle's and surrounding area, Sunderland, Gateshead, their uh, electric railway, passenger railway system, they're talking about extending it up, up to uh, past our village to Blythe. And possibly beyond I think but the cost of doing it now is horrendous and they've been talking about doing it for years and uh, you've seen the walks I do near where I live locally and uh, there's those railway lines there which could have been you know maintained and handy for you know sh like short distance commuting and, uh, but there you go. A long, a long time ago, it was decided that uh, road transport was the way to go for goods, and I've no doubt uh, there was money changed hands uh, in the cause of persuading the government to go along that line, but. Who am I to uh, suggest such a scurrilous thing? Anyway, I started rabbiting and ranting again, so I'll shut up for a bit. I'm led to believe that the uh, the river there is 32 meters or I reckon that would be in excess of a hundred feet in old money yeah but all for all this for a railway line that's not used anymore Holy crap on a cracker, if that doesn't impress you. Completed in 1932, so... mega but time to go up as you can see this is quite different again we're uh, coming into the village of Lamley itself uh, yeah, but the river's down there somewhere
Mm. It's a memorial for Nobby. One in a million. I wonder if Nobby was a, uh, a human or an animal. Seems a curious place to wear. Place a stone. This, he was this is where he was killed. It's getting a bit morbid on this channel, isn't it? About to cross back over the river again. This time it's just a normal road bridge. Not too shabby. Uh, going to go as a path off to the left there. Hopefully it takes us down by the river. On the side of the river there, so So, as if by magic. So we're over there, just behind the hedge. Oh, there you can see it there. And there. Uh, we've got mud at last. No. We're getting near to what I've been looking for on this walk. Um, and I'm surprised because normally when I go looking for uh, ruins or abandoned things, you can hardly see them, but um, ladies and gentlemen, Camp 18. It was uh, initially set up to uh, house American troops for their preparation and training for D Day. Subsequently, It became a prisoner of war camp for Italian prisoners and then uh, after the war they housed the most serious category of prisoners here, the uh, uh, higher ranking officers, SS and the likes of that. Um, yeah, they kept them there, they kept them here a little bit longer. Uh, I'm led to believe there was the ad visiting lecturers from nearby organisations, presumably to uh, advise them of the error of their ways. Uh, yeah, I'll stop filming now. And we'll have a look inside. It looks like they've been uh, repurposed, as they say, by a local farmer. Heaven only knows what that was. These look to be uh, individual cells. Looks 
looks like the cow's getting in here though. Just looking for any uh, graffiti from the uh, from the period. Wouldn't have been terribly warm in here, would it? You rascal. When we were falling down here, it's 90% uh, organic, I think. <laughs> you can see there's been more buildings there. You can see the concrete foundations of them. Do you know what this place is here? It's like a bit like a boiler house. Like I say, it wouldn't have been very warm in those. Uh... Well, it's got a chimney, so maybe there was some form of heating in there. That one too. There's traces of concrete there, all along there. Big old. Uh, maybe that was the. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that was the cells, and maybe that was the uh, guards' accommodation. I'm just guessing here. You know what's been going on in there? Can be some kind of boiler system here going into those two chimneys. Yikes, it's proper sticky underfoot. Oh, that critic. Let's have a wander over there. Yeah, concrete pathways. Been another building. Now that one looks altogether more modern. Yeah. Fence posts. No, 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 no. There is supposed to be a disused sewage treatment works down here and It's hard to say. It's a different kind of in construction, isn't it? Garage. Yeah, it's got like uh, metal lintels above the windows, not the concrete ones like uh, that over there. Bigger windows. I would say that's a newer building. I don't know. Yeah, this looks like the sewage works because that looks like a I don't know. Don't know what would be in there, just a pumping station or Dunno. You can see now we're on a 
tarmac road disused but uh, if we're up in amongst the trees there you can still make out concrete fence posts where the, the perimeter would have been smaller posts there probably just uh, keep the local wildlife away ah now I might have been wrong about the other place because it looks about the sewage works because it might be there's something here definitely let's go down and have a look that's an old tree yeah so that I guess that could be one of the um, I don't know what they call them the pools not the fermentation pools or something I don't know I might be getting mixed up but uh, if that's through there if that's the sewage works then it's a long way from here so maybe maybe this is the abandoned sewage works and that other that last building was um, was part of the uh, Camp 18 um, this just amazes me all this history in the way give it another 50 years and you won't be able to tell there's a road here yeah there's more like works there You can imagine being a uh, prisoner of war here, especially the Italian ones, it's about as far away from uh, Italy as you can get, weather-wise. I know, I guess, in the foothills of the Alps it's good, similar, but uh, so I've just proved myself wrong, basically. But uh, the reason I believe that the American troops came here to train was because they were going to be fighting in uh, similar terrain when they went ashore at D-Day I can only think it means like uh, through sort of northern France possibly Belgium, Holland the Ardennes further south Black Forest Goodness only knows. This is a slightly grander form of accommodation. This is a uh, Frostily Castle. I don't know what happens there, but there's a lot of vans parked out the front. Nature starting to get a hold of this road. I'm not sure what they're filming there, but I just saw somebody carrying a film camera. So, uh, the only one I can think of around here that it's recurring is uh, not Vera. It certainly is a load of air. Uh, A load of vans and campers there. I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's an outward bounds place or or something. But I'm sure I saw a guy come out of the door carrying a uh, like a like a TV standard camera, that sort of size of thing. So yeah.
we're on the north bank of the river now. Dry route. Well, that was a bit of a scramble along the riverside. Um, I think the wet weather has taken its toll. Very muddy. Lots of gullies across the across the trail, washouts. But, uh, now I can see I'm onto some farm track, it's heading up towards uh, I think it's pronounced Widden Eels Farm, and. Uh, we're well on our way back towards Holt Whistle. Original forecast today was for it to rain, or well rain or sleet all day, but fortunately it's changed. And, uh, yeah, I've had, I've had everything. I mean, my fingers were freezing cold when we started off. I've been scrambling up through along that river bank in the trees. Of, Red hot, it's a good, uh, good test, and as ever, good to get out, pump the blood around, blow the cobwebs out, forget about everything except where you're trying to go, and the immediate surroundings. Cool. Medic. Prefer me trails when they get easier towards the end. Just come through there in case you don't know. Uh, yeah, it's worlds apart from the other, the other side of the river on the outward leg. The woman, there's a motorway. It's all up and down in swamps here. <sighs> Oh, yep. Well, I'm glad I put my gaiters on now. Put you away for a bit. Well, that's a tough old rascal there. Just come across those fields, which seem innocent enough, but they're all, like I say, it's very wet and it's a cow pasture, so it's very hard to walk over and you're sinking in all the time. Very uneven. So, but if you look down there, where are we? Can I do it? But that that lump there is where we come across the river the first time, and that's the 69. So. Hallelujah, the end is in sight. <laughs> You've got dead smoke on the tarmac, but wanna. <laughs> so, we come all the way from the farm up there, all the way down here. Oh, I'm set. That'll be uh, Bellister Castle. Another bridge over a tributary of the town. Uh, yeah, so we're getting there. It's past a 
signposts that say us halt this little quarter of a mile. So uh, doing in nicely. A bit of an urban wild camp in here if you had a, a good set of earplugs. Uh, what goes what goes down must go back up again. <laughs> Bring you back. I'm really feeling it now. Those uh, soggy, muddy fields are really taking it out of us. Whew. There we go, back in the car. Yeah. That was a different walk to what I expected. It uh, got quite difficult towards the end of it, on, on, on that return leg anyway, uh, but it wouldn't be any point in coming out if it wasn't a challenge really, would it? But uh, also, struck lucky, I picked a parking spot, um, which said maximum stay two hours, no return within three hours, and I've actually been parked here four and a half hours now so I guess the traffic wardens don't work on a Saturday in Holt Russell. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, um, please subscribe and like if you want and share for whatever reason I can't imagine and uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you again on the next one. Bye for now.